Yeah, I just wake up and go. Shotgun the rocket crew, bet your block will move the general is Lord Stino. Catch me rolling in the gold regal. Do your dirt, but the Lord see you. You dive head first like a bald eagle. I make your head fly first, man. You don't believe you. Stick em, I, 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 stick em, stick em, I, 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 stick em, 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 stick
At 50 years old, nigga, your back is, nigga, he's going to need a backyotomy in a minute, my nigga. That nigga spine. Listen, man. I ain't going to hold you, man. The nigga Lenny Kravitz was wilding. Also, because I do want to keep it on the solar eclipse shit, man. I seen a lot of this shit going on yesterday, all right? I seen a lot of people really committing crimes, bro. And this is one of the shits that it made me kind of think a little bit. Like, bro, was it really something going on with the solar eclipse, bro? 22-year-old Georgia woman said she was going on a God-directed shooting spree, champ. This what I be saying about y'all conspiracy niggas and all that, bro, right? I had, I had two friends, and I talk about these niggas all the time. I had one friend, though, that was so into conspiracy theories, the nigga went crazy. This is facts. This is facts, bro. The nigga thought the police was, was tapping his crib. Like, the nigga was taking out the smoke detectors and doing the part of the goddamn microwave. Like, bro, what's going on with you, champ? All right? But y'all niggas be wanting to believe shit more than y'all niggas want to survive. Champ is crazy. Uh, Poncho says, I thank God and smoke blunts, uh, and that was it. Can't keep going. Yo, listen, I can't... Listen, I'm not going to lie, bro. When I went outside to walk my dog yesterday, I felt crazy. I'm not going to lie. It felt crazy. It felt different, my nigga. I'm not going to lie, but maybe it was just because, like I said, I never seen... Well, I, I don't know if I remember. It ever being daylight and nightlight at the same time was, was kind of insane. But then you had people talking about all the messages from God and if they seen shit flying through the clouds and all. You know, 4.8 on the fucking... Yo, man, this shit. 4.8... 4.8 on the Richter scale equals 4.8 on the date equals 4.8 Exodus. Like, yo, bro, relax. We got to pay rent the first. You know what I'm saying? We got to pay rent the first, bro. Y'all niggas was going kind of crazy yesterday, bro. Regular niggas like me, I sold rocks, bro. I don't believe in nothing. I'm not going to hold you. I done seen everything but Christ, bro. I say that shit all the time. I don't believe nothing. You're going to have to prove it to me. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. 22-year-old Georgia woman says she was going on a God-directed shooting spree because the solar eclipse, it then shot two drivers on the interstate 10 in Florida. Both drivers survived after being shot in the neck and arm. She had an AR-15 rifle and a 9mm handgun chair. I'm not going to hold you. You can't make this type of shit up. Sometimes that shit be mental illness when niggas be believing everything. Sometimes it be a little bit of, sometimes be a little bit of sugar on the brain, champ. You know what I mean? Niggas' brains be sweet oatmeal. I'm not gonna hold you like. G Boy Film said fishnet for a dude is wild. Never mind working out with other niggas is nuts, champ. Yo, listen, man. Working out in goddamn uh 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 scuba diving pants, champ. That ain't nothing but scuba gear right there on the bottom, champ. I don't know what the top is, bro. The top look like something that you would get red potatoes in, champ, at the supermarket. I done got, I done got a bag that looked just like this nigga shirt filled with red onions. What are you talking about, nigga? D-Block says, of course it was in Florida. Of course, champ. Of course. G-Boy said, I just felt tired, bro. Nothing else. How many people felt tired yesterday, bro? Like, I want to I wanna talk to y'all, bro, because I know the world was wild. And before we get into the other topics and shit, um, how many of y'all niggas felt tired? What did y'all feel yesterday? Did y'all feel anything at all? Did y'all go outside? Did y'all look at the sun? I want to know, bro, because, I mean, it was stories of niggas turning into vampires and bats and all that shit yesterday. I want to know what's going on. Somebody told me I should go outside and put my toes in toes in the soil for what nigga what am i putting my toes in the soil for bro that's supposed to energize me and some shit nigga what 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 was the difference like i said all i saw was niggas tweaking out yesterday over this uh goddamn eclipse my nigga that's all i saw yesterday niggas tweaking i saw this nigga 50 years old with wild vitality my nigga fuck you talking about they got wild vigor fuck you talking about nigga? Mark the Shark says, that's the red potatoes bag. I'm telling you. <laughs> Yo. 
JMJ Sun says grounding. Yeah, like niggas was saying that yesterday. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Uh, niggas, I mean, like I said, bro, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's just me, bro. I don't know the whole reason for all this shit, but hey, if that shit would make me do do 13, uh, uh, <laughs> Yo, if that shit would make me do 13 B shits, I don't know what that shit is called. I nigga, the rowboat, the sit up rowboat, nigga. If that shit make me do 13 of those with weights, maybe, maybe I should have put my, put my crusties, put my crusty toes in the sand, champ, all right? D Block says, I didn't look at the sun. The atmosphere was odd and different. They say this shit happened every couple of years and all that. But I can't front. I don't never remember it being how it was yesterday. I remember being a little kid and looking up at the sun with the, back in my days, we had to use the, um, the cereal box. Niggas had to buy the special cereal box. And you had a cereal box and you'd be looking up, you'd be like, damn, oh, bro, it should look just like that. It should look crazy. But I don't remember it never looking like Thriller outside, bro. Yesterday was very, yesterday was very Thriller-like, so that shit was very, I'm just saying, like, this shit was very, you know what I'm saying? It was, bro. Uh, let's get to some more comments. JMJ Sun says, at least that's what they say. Niggas always be woke. Niggas, niggas always be uh, uh, sage-burning-ass niggas, which, which we gonna talk about later on, all right? Niggas always be those type of niggas, but guess what, bro? You still stuck, just like me, nigga. I didn't put my toes in the ground. Guess what? We still both got to pay rent. Word. Like, niggas be, niggas be off task. Oh, the solar eclipse. Nigga, niggas, niggas lose task, bro. Niggas straight up lose, what, lose sight of what they was about to do, my nigga, because of goddamn solar eclipse, bro. I ain't going to hold you. But the only nigga that didn't lose task is your man, uh, 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 the hell is this nigga name? Strongman champ. What the hell is this nigga name? Lenny Kravitz champ. The Linster. Alright? The Linster. That's the only nigga that didn't lose. <laughs> ah, man. Uh, Baby Milk says, go outside and put your toes in the soil. Yeah, bro. Niggas message. Niggas, niggas, niggas hit me up. Yo, bro. Make sure you go outside, bro. Put your heels in this. Put your heel backs in the sand, bro. Put your heel backs in the soil, bro. Nigga, I live in an apartment complex. Niggas got dogs and all that. Niggas pissing, fucking, you know what I'm saying? Doodling all in the soil, bro. You want me to put my toes in the soil now? Y'all niggas on crack, bro. There's something wrong with y'all niggas, bro. Like, I mean, come on. Now, G-Boy Film says somebody was arrested for eating a human leg walking down the street in Wasco. Where the hell is Wasco, bro? Shit, wild, nah, bro. Niggas walking down the block eating a goddamn human leg kebab is crazy champ i'm not gonna hold you sage burning ass niggas bro it was no real real thoroughbred niggas outside with naked toes yesterday it was no real thoroughbred niggas outside with naked toes yesterday it was all these niggas that listened to j cole that was outside with they bare toenails in the sand digging them niggas was, yo, bro, them niggas was digging their toes in the sand, looking up at the, looking up at the sun, digging they shits, bro. Digging they shits. They shit clawing, clawing through the dirt, nigga. It's disgusting. It's ants and all types of shit in that shit, nigga. Niggas is nasty work, bro. Niggas is nasty. The sound to this eclipse is hilarious. The sound? What you mean, the sound? This a sound? There ain't no sound. Uh, F Tank says salute, my nigga. You already know the vibes. Uh, Andre Bernhardt, DG, your Iron Man here, nephew. I got yams all day. It didn't even look outside. Copy. I mean, cause that's what real niggas supposed to do. Real niggas don't look up at at solar eclipses, bro. That shit don't move us. You feel me? Real niggas don't look up at solar eclipses. That shit don't tickle us, my nigga. Y'all niggas was tickled yesterday. I'm not gonna hold you. Y'all niggas was tickled pink yesterday. Nigga just wanted something to do. Like, oh, we gonna go outside. We gonna buy these 3D glasses, bro. That nigga shut the fuck up. Bro. That shit is corny, bro. Now I'm saying, salute to the Eclipse. Salute to all the niggas that lost their mind yesterday, and now y'all regular niggas today. 
Salute to all y'all niggas that was talking high and mighty about Jesus yesterday, and now y'all niggas is regular niggas today, bro. Y'all niggas had to go to work. Y'all niggas woke up, at, wiped all the dirt from underneath your toenails, and y'all niggas had to go to work today. Niggas had to go to work today. Baby Milk said, I swear as you said this, Dino, I was typing old J. Cole type of niggas outside kneeling before the eclipse. These niggas thought it was going to bring them magical bars yesterday, champ. Maybe if I kneel to the eclipse, my chakras, champ. Yo, nigga. <laughs> Yo, niggas start talking about chakras and shit. I'm out of here, champ. I'm not going to hold you. I sold crack. I'm out of here, bro. Niggas start talking about chakras and chakra zulus and chakra cons and all that shit. Nigga, I'm out of here, bro. Straight. That shit not real to me, my nigga. You got to let the UV rays absorb in your third eye. Like, bro, let's shut the fuck up, nigga. For real. Be quiet, nigga. JFJ says, and the chin comes in every, every time on time. What do you talk about, bro? <laughs> what are you talk about? G-Boy Film says they made bread off the eclipse. Wow, bro. Them niggas find out how to monetize Earth, bro. Them niggas figured out how to monetize Earth, bro. Them niggas wasn't playing yesterday, bro. Niggas eating le barbecue legs on the human legs on the street. Like, all types of shit, bro. Charm. That charm? You talk about that one, champ? F-Tank salute, champ. You know the vibes. Uh, Y'all niggas do what F Tank did, man. Go ahead and uh, hit that. Hit that. What is that? That super chat. All right? Hit that super chat. Uh, Andre says, got my wife, my toaster, and locked doors yesterday. Why? Why, bro? Yo, y'all niggas really thought something was going to happen yesterday, bro? Do y'all niggas remember the year 2000? That Y2K shit? Y'all niggas remember the Y2K shit, bro? Well, everybody, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, the lights are still on, champ. Oh, ain't nothing happened. Tomorrow's going to be the same shit we got to pay rent on the first. Y'all niggas really thought something was going to happen yesterday? But, bro, it's nothing never going to happen in our lifetime that's going to be for that. I'm just keeping it funky. Yo, my nigga was in full Power Ranger mode yesterday. Salute to my nigga Jason. My nigga was in... <laughs> that nigga had the whole Black Ranger outfit on, nigga. With the mask, nigga. It's morphin' time. Salute, salute to the homie, man. All right? Uh, F-Chain said he talking about the sound effects. What sound effects, bro? What sound effects? I don't hear no sound effects, bro. I'm not even gonna hold you. I don't hear no sound effects. At all. Maybe I'm wilder. I hear nothing. I hear nothing. I hear nothing. Yes, Y2K was crazy. Nah, facts, bro. Like, bro, y'all niggas sit, bro, every time something happened, y'all niggas think the world is going to end. Y'all niggas think the world is going to end, bro. The world never going to end, bro. Y'all niggas is wilding, my nigga. Like, just go to work, pay rent. Keep living. In your video, it keeps making a sound. What? This video? What sound, champ? Yeah, you got a track playing a noise. What? Nah, I don't, bro. On your image of the eclipse. What? Bro, that shit is a that shit is an image, bro. That shit don't got no sound to it. Let me see, bro. Let me take it off. Every 20 seconds, I thought it was somebody donating Super Chats or something. I, nigga, I wish it was. I ain't gonna lie. I wish it was on my soul. Are you on Twitch too? Um, I could be. <laughs> nah, I'm here, champs, all right? I'm here. Um, Sounds like MTV News is about to start. No, it was on the last video too. What the fuck? 
Oh no, jeans. Hold on. Let me see. I might have uh, another video playing or something. Nah, bro. I don't got nothing playing, bro. On my soul. And I would hear it. I don't know, bro. But it's suited to the sound effects I catch, bro. It just happened right now. That's crazy. <laughs> it got the soundtrack sounds. Word. Just seeing if that was the sound. Nah, bro. Listen, I don't know what the hell that shit is, bro. But we gonna get all this shit taken care of. We going we got a whole lot of new shit coming to the page. As y'all can see, we got the green screen. That's only one part. This shit is about to take a wild, crazy turn. Yeah, y'all niggas is going to like it, right? Um, salute though. I noticed it in yesterday live too. Word. Oh, now I gotta rewatch yesterday live, bro. What the? F what? Yeah, it definitely keeps me watching. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Yo, let's move on though, man. I right? cause this is something that I was talking about before we get into the um J. Cole shit. He said, but it's it's on the time. Like, well, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy, son. I'm not gonna hold you. Uh but let's go. Alright, so this is something I spoke about a couple of days ago. Um, as far as Russell Simmons and his daughter. His daughter was out spotted with um spotted with uh where this nigga at? Yeah, spotted with this old nigga right here, champ. Remember, we was wild and we were saying son, son resembles Tony Danza and all this other shit. We was hitting that nigga with wild heat, right? Well, it seems as though your man Russell Simmons said that he was okay with his 21-year-old daughter dating a 66-year-old pervert, all right? Uh, Russell Simmons says daughter Aoki Lee gave him heads up about her relationship with Vittorio Asaf before pics went viral. I'm not going to kick and scream about her choices. Well, I guess you can't kick and scream about her choices because you are also a pervert, champ. If my daughter was 21 and she decided to try to date somebody that's 66, first of all, she will never do that because she's going to think that's nasty. I'm going to make sure I tell her that that shit is nasty. Right? Um, but I would have a fucking problem with that. What do you mean you're not going to kick and scream over her choices, nigga? You her father. Let's read what it says, man. All right? Uh, it says... It's been a few days since photos of Aoki Lee Simmons and her boyfriend Vittori Asaf. That sounds crazy to call to call an elderly nigga your boyfriend, right? It should be like your grand friend, right? Or your grand boyfriend or some shit like that. It should have a different beginning. My great grand boyfriend or some shit like that. You feel me? That's how it should be. Let's continue. Uh, and Russell Simmons has finally broken his silence about his daughter's relationship while speaking with TMZ, of course, because TMZ is motherfucking, yo, yo, TMZ is the shit, bro. Straight up, the first alien nigga that come to America and, like, or oh, come to whatever the world and, like, want to do an interview, them niggas going to either one or two niggas. Them niggas going to Vlad or them niggas going to TMZ, man. Respectfully. Uh, but anyway, speaking with TMZ, Russell expressed that Aoki told him about her relationship with the 65-year-old restaurateur a day before news broke about Aoki and Vittorio's St. Bart's vacation. As far as his personal feelings on the matter, Russell says he just wants to be a supportive father to his daughter. Being a supportive father doesn't always mean going along with the bullshit that your kids do. Why does being supportive have to be, well, I'll just let this little bitch run, run wild, champ. I just, fuck it. She could just go ahead and, you know, show her asshole on camera, bro. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. No, bro. Being a supportive parent, you got to be from the beginning. You got to be from a child, from when they kids, bro. This nigga is crazy, bro. Let's finish reading. I'm not going to kick and scream about her choices, he said. All I can do is offer my advice and unconditional love. Like you offered her the unconditional love when y'all niggas was arguing in front of the goddamn world, champ. 
Okay. <laughs> you, don't even, you don't even have sugar daddy capabilities, right? Aren't you a B? Of course you are, right? I'm just saying, if you don't give me money, I'm gonna go. I don't know. I'm not gonna do any of that. You're just gonna raise your budget. Your budget's fine. I'm gonna be an ambassador for the meat industry. Oh wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Did I hear that shit correctly? God is watching you. He hears you. I mean, I mean, your higher self hears you. You know what the said is bad. You're not gonna do that. You're just talking. I'm about to spoil. Where's that boyfriend of yours? Is he still around? Yeah, he's not. He's in. He's hiking right now. Does he know I'll kill him? No. Do it. Raise your budget. Uh, you you guys should not. I don't understand why they glamorize all these people who have so much money and do so little. It's why should I raise her budget? Her budget. Dad, is I don't do so, so little. Would be a, so all the jobs, but y'all niggas hear this? What did you say? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> you, don't even, you don't even have sugar daddy capabilities, right? Aren't you a B? <laughs> Of course you are, right? You don't even have sugar daddy capabilities. Aren't you a V? Yo, what? What's going on, champ? You're wildin'. Yo, these niggas is weirdos, bro. These niggas is weird niggas. Salute to Uncle Russ and all that, man. Hollis all day, man. Y'all niggas know the vibes, man. Hollis Queens all day, nigga. Straight. But goddamn if this nigga's not a weird nigga for that, bro. God damn it, this nigga's not a weird nigga for that, bro. You don't hate. You're just playing, right? You don't have sugar daddy capabilities. You're still a V, right? Bro, what are you, bro, what are you talking about, nigga? Yo. Let's get to some comments, man. Let's get to some comments before we move forward. All right, because we still got a lot to talk about. Uh... Uh, 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 that geriatric MF was happy as a motherfucker for a night or two. That's a fact he was. Uh, Baby Milk says the first alien nigga. Fact, bro. The first alien nigga, who you think he gonna do an interview with? He gonna want to sit down with Vlad. Vlad gonna cut that shit up into a million pieces. And then he gonna, or he gonna sit, or TMZ just gonna just break the news. Like, yo, alien nigga out here, bro. The nigga trying to do do uh interviews and all that that nigga trying to do drill music the first alien nigga that come to the hood is going to do drill music for sure bro i think that nigga four bats is an alien for real keep it 100 i i think that nigga an alien face nigga um f tank says i was thinking about that yesterday tmz somehow was the first on the scene about everything celebrity that's a fact bro that's a fact. Them niggas, them, them niggas have no life but that, bro. We'll keep it honey with you. I be having shit to do, my nigga. I got priorities and shit. Yep. I got priorities and shit. Uh, as we previewed, yeah. So the nigga was talking crazy. Can I call you, bro? Oh no, nah, we not doing that. The nigga was talking crazy. Um. And guess what? Shorty is no longer with Vittorio. All right? Shorty is no longer with Vittorio. So, just days after their relationship went public, it's been confirmed that Aoki Lee Simmons and a 65-year-old boyfriend, Vittorio Asaf, have ended their romance that was apparently never a thing from the beginning. It was never a thing? Hold on, bro. It was never a thing. Y'all niggas, bro, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? That's that whole S worker shit, bro. You should never want your daughter, all right, to be an S worker, bro. You should never want your daughter to be an S worker, bro. That's just facts. You should never want your daughter to be promiscuous. You should never want your seeds to be promiscuous, bro. I I got to ab admit, I knew about it, and it didn't bother me. Well, now she's not even with the nigga. I can see if she was going to marry, son. Because at least you're doing it for marriage. So what else are you doing it for? She she told you. 
I'm about to be one of those girls, champ. I'm about to get ahead. I'm about to get a sugar daddy, bro. And she did, bro. She did. No, she's not a V. That nigga put his hell, bro. Uh, and she went, like, this how you can tell, bro. Shorty don't like black niggas at all, bro. I'm just going to say that. Shorty don't like black niggas at all, bro. She don't, bro. If you would skip over all the black niggas that you could possibly be with and get with Otario Vasav or Asav, whatever son name is, bro, nigga probably, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Uh, Poncho says he wants a son, bro. You can't even have your sons running around crazy, bro. You don't want your sons to have multiple baby mothers and baby mama drama and nigga be with this shorty and then he end up getting in trouble because shorty really got a boyfriend and them niggas end up shooting at each other. Bro, you don't want your son or daughter. You don't want neither one of them niggas to be promiscuous. You want the niggas to understand how life is and all that. That's just real talk. JMJ says, and it's valid from TMZ. That's a fact. They have yet to lie. <laughs> That's a fact, bro. That's a fact. Them niggas be on it all day long. Um, salute to TMZ, man. Baby Milk says, Russell Simmons' voice sounds like a dog. He's not a tough guy. My son does yoga. He does hot Pilates and all that other shit. Um, it is what it is with Russ. It is what it is with Russ. I'm not going to hold you. Uncle Russ, you right? F Tank says, uh, super weird, bro. That's that Holly weird shit. It is, bro. Michael Childress says him and Puffy doing yoga together. Well, him and Usher definitely was doing yoga together, all right? But as I said, um, you know what I mean? Shorty is now not with Sun no more. Um, and I would say that it's all Russell Simmons' fault, all right? I would say it's all Russell Simmons' fault. He got his daughter out here running raggedy, champ. I'm not going to hold you. He got his daughter out here running raggedy, all right? Now, let's move on because I really don't give a fuck about Aoki's vagina box. I don't care about that, all right? What I really care about today is what we about to talk about. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe before we go further. Before we go further, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe. Make sure you share this shit, all right? He said it's the background. It probably is the background. But... The background, the background don't have a, uh, it don't have no sound to it. There's nothing giving out sound right now except for my microphone. So, I don't know. That shit kind of weird. That's top audio. That shit weird. But we're going to figure it out, champ. All right? Because you know I'm not going to have this background for long. We switching things up this week. Uh, this is just an in-between in between thing, but we got a lot of ill shit popping up this week, champ. I'm not gonna lie, y'all niggas gonna be like Steno's wild, all right? But let's get to what I wanted to talk about, man, because there seems to be some confusion going on within what just happened within the last couple of days. So if you don't know what happened, Kendrick Lamar, okay, let me pull up a picture of Kendrick Lamar. Let's just get people up, up to date on what's going on. Your man Kendrick Lamar dissed, dissed Drake and J. Cole, okay? J. Cole then responded to said this song with his own diss song called Seven Minute Drill, which we read the lyrics to that yesterday. I may make that a little a vibe, a little video to put out, a little five, ten minute video while I'm just reading the lyrics, right? Shit was trash, I'm not going to lie. Shit was trash. But now we got a whole bunch of soybean, beyond meat, what else, champ? Sage burning, what else, champ? Pink, pink Himalayan salt eating, what else, champ? What else? What else do these niggas do, champ? What else do these niggas do, champ? What else do, what else do these niggas do, champ? Dirty Scout niggas talking about they respect J. Cole as a man for apologizing to Kendrick Lamar. As a matter of fact, what I have for y'all is different, all right? So the man Charlemagne gave everybody a donkey today, which I'm gonna here, we're gonna react to it. 
uh, yesterday because of such, all right? Uh, he gave niggas donkey the day, uh, donkey of the day today, all right? So we're going to go ahead. We're going to listen to that donkey of the day. We're going to hear what some guy to say. Um, and then we're going to discuss this because I don't think that, that that's right. Hold on. Let me go ahead and get this up here. This shit is on Facebook, so I gotta, I gotta do something a little different. There we go. There we go. Y'all can see that. All right, that cool. Let me know if y'all can hear it too. All right. For Monday, April eighth, goes to all of you that are disappointed that J Cole apologized to Kendrick Lamar. Y'all can hear it. Thumbs up. Did y'all hear it? I just want to know before I let it go. Did y'all hear it? It's cool. It's good. We good? We good to go? Good? All right, bet. Let's go. Donkey of the day for Monday, April 8th goes to all of you that are disappointed that J. Cole apologized to Kendrick Lamar. If you haven't been paying attention because you've grown as hell, got a family, and don't give a damn what these rappers be talking about, let me give you a quick refresher. Uh, Kendrick decided to give a few bars to J. Cole. Mind you, this is the same nigga. This is the same nigga. that tried to beautify his skin. Remember, hold on, champ. Oh, you niggas is lucky I'm not on my browser. But this is the same nigga that used to resemble a raccoon of sorts, a marsupial. This is the same nigga that they said used to carry his young in his pouch. The same nigga, bro. The nigga went through extensive uh, surgery to cleanseify his skin. Understand this Soft boy era that we in, you gotta stop. I was on TikTok all morning. They talk about soft boy era, soft boy, soft boy. It gotta stop. It gotta stop. Y'all niggas sound crazy. It's the same nigga that got BBL skin injections, champ. Let's keep it going. Cole and Drake on Metro booming and future song like that. Mother F the big three. It's just big me. Okay. Now, uh, th this past Friday, J. Cole decided to respond when he dropped a surprise project called Might Delete Later and on his seven minute drill, some, threw some shots back at Kendrick. Let's listen. Yo, bro, listen, man. Hold on, bro, because I don't know if I can play that. These niggas are Hold on, Chan. All right. Yes. I heard that last week. I immediately said to myself, J. Cole needs to delete that now. Don't wait until later. Okay, I told people J. Cole sounded like he didn't even believe what he was saying about Kendrick. He said Kendrick fell off like The Simpsons. The Simpsons been on for 35 years. Nigga, so fuck the fact that it was trash, right? Fuck the fact that it was trash, right? Forget that shit, right? Because it was trash. Oh, she didn't believe what he was saying, bro. The nigga soft, right? Nigga always got incense burning, right? The nigga toes be out while he be riding bikes, champ. You think I ain't see the nigga had on sandals while he was riding that bike through Manhattan, champ? I seen it. That's very dangerous. I applaud him for that. But nah, champ. This shit was whack. Period. I read all the lyrics, bro. Stop taking up for niggas, bro. That shit was whack. This is rap music, bro. It was trash. Let's keep it going. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Still at the top of the game. He sounded like he had a gun in his head and he was being forced to read a bunch of stupid ass rhetoric that he got from social media and YouTube videos. Because if it's one thing you cannot go at Kung Fu Kenny for, it's his music. That's all Kendrick stands on. That's his business, the music. He is in the business of making classic, timeless music that even if you uh, don't get in the moment, it will be there waiting for you when you catch up. So not only did I think Cole's response was weak, I just knew he didn't believe anything he was saying. And all of that was confirmed for me last night at the Dreamville Festival when Cole decided to apologize to Kendrick Lamar. I have feelings as a man, feelings as a hip hop fan. The hip hop fan in me isn't disappointed because in life you have to pick your battles and you have to pick your battles carefully because danger comes from trying to surpass your limits. Cole there is 
no surpassing niggas' limits when niggas is talking about they the big three, bro. What are you talking about, bro? What are we saying here, bro? You're mad at niggas for saying J. Cole was some instant smelling ass nigga for apologizing about a fucking rap battle, bro. That we never thought them niggas was gonna fight anyway. Both these niggas is pussy. Right? Hold on, champ. Both these niggas is pussy, bro. Okay? This guy, look at this nigga boots, bro. Do we gotta go through this again? Look at son boots and pants combination. I never once had to tie my hat, champ. I never once had to tie my hat, champ. Sounded like he about to say suckery succotash, champ. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah. Yo, son. What's up with these niggas, man? So, nah, we never thought it was going to be nothing more than rap with these niggas, bro. These niggas is not from Chirac, bro. These niggas is not drill rappers, bro. These niggas is regular niggas, bro. These niggas, niggas, niggas at the back saluted J. Frank for the uh, dono. Y'all niggas make sure y'all hit that super chat, man. All right? Make sure y'all hit the super chat, man. Uh, let's get to some uh, comments before we go forward, man. All right? Uh, Poncho says he is corny. He is corny, champ. Michael Children says J. Cole scent is like mothballs and cat piss. That's crazy, champ. You heard? That's crazy. Uh, we used to go to war. Soft boy era is trash. Yeah, bro. That shit is trash, bro. Shit trash. California Fly salute, man. You know the vibes, right? Let's get back to this uh, content, man. Oh, no. He didn't really want it with Kendrick. So if you don't really want it with a person, then you are pushing yourself past the limit. You aren't willing to go. And that's usually when you end up getting hurt. Not to mention, Cole said something very important in that, in that apology. He said it didn't sit right with his spirit. You must always listen to your spirit. And Cole, the reason your Kendrick diss didn't sit right in your spirit was because you knew you was lying, okay? You knew you didn't feel like that about Kendrick's music. You are an That's artist, nice. a true MC, so there is not too many people who appreciate what Kendrick Lamar does as much as you do. Kendrick Lamar don't need to be a part of every algorithm on social media because Kendrick isn't a surfer, he's a wave. There is a difference. A lot of y'all are just surfers. You get online every day looking for a new wave to ride. Kendrick, when he drops projects, creates those waves that people ride. No, niggas, niggas like to meet, meat munch. Niggas love to meat munch. That's, that's what it is. Whenever Kendrick drops some shit, it's a bunch of scientific, biblical niggas that think that they smarter than other niggas, so they want to push this nigga music. Oh, Kendrick dropped. Ah, oh, yeah, oh, yes. You, you just don't understand his bars. Hmm? You just, you just don't understand his bars. No, the nigga's a cornball nigga. I don't understand bars from cornball niggas. That's just me, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just don't understand bars from corny niggas, bro. Kendrick been corny to me for a while. I don't like some voice. I don't like the way some really be dressing and all that now. Like, the nigga had a platinum thorn crown. He was wearing that shit for the whole rollout. What was his last album called, bro? It was some wild... Yo, son, Kendrick is a fucking lame. What was what was the nigga last album called? The Miracolettes? This nigga was The Miracles and The Miracolettes. What was this shit called, bro? This nigga was The Jackson 5 and The Heartbeats. What the fuck was the last album name, bro? Hold on, bro. Salute to D Block too, nigga. I see you with the super chat, champ. I mean, um, I see you with the uh with the uh cash app. Salute to D Block, champ. What was this nigga last album name? The Touch Tones? What this yo, nah, bro, it was some weird shit, bro. Hold on. And this nigga's five five. Come on. I never thought these niggas was going to box. I'm not going to lie. These niggas, it's not about that. Hold on. What was the nigga last album name, bro, so we can go ahead, man? 
Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Mr. Morale. What are we talking about, bro? Period. Good Kid, Mad City. Classic album. We know this. The Pimple Butterfly. My favorite Kendrick Lamar album. That album is Blackity Black Black. If you ask me, Kendrick re-ushered in a black renaissance in music with that album. But that's a discussion for another day. Damn is a great project. I don't know if I have it as classic status, but Cole, you said that's his prime. You said that was his peak. So if that's the case, then you think that's his best body of work. So that's three classic albums we discussed. What does that have to do with niggas saying son was wildin' for apologizing, bro? You just mentioned everything. The reason why J. Cole sucked bad is what you just mentioned. What part of that got anything to do with me and people that feel like me? Let's keep it going. Discussing. And then Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, I told y'all months ago in the future, we are going to look at that in uh, Jay-Z's 444 as two of them. You know you sucking somebody very hard, bro. When you say, nah, bro, in the next 10 years, we gonna look back and we gonna see that that shit was fire. You over, nigga, you, you might as well work at Krispy Kreme Donuts. You might as well just Krispy Kreme the whole industry at this point. So we gotta wait eight to 10 years to look back at something and be like, yo, you know what? That shit was kind of hard. No, nigga. That's not how this shit work. Let's go. The most important hip-hop albums of all time. And you know when that's going to come? No, when you not. unhealed heathens get some healing. When you men grow up. And that's what we are here to talk about today. The yeah, rap the fan in me understands the disappointment many of you feel in Cole. But the man in me who understands that I'm a spiritual being living a human existence has nothing but respect for what J. Cole did. He's so See what I mean, bro? See what I mean? This is niggas that never touch no crack. No, niggas never, know what I mean? I'm a spiritual being living in a physical existence. Like, bro, ain't you a predator? I mean, I'm just saying, like, don't you got smut on your jacket? What part of your spiritual being did did that? Listen, I, I'm just a rapper. I actually did this shit for a living. I was actually signed to Island Def Jam, nigga, for, for four years, three years. I want to hear niggas rap. I don't want to hear niggas apologize because they shit was trash. And now y'all niggas is trying to take up for niggas. I don't want to hear that, bro. Let's keep going. Well, many of us lead with pride and ego nowadays. And we let these idiots on social media who we don't even now know peer pressure us to say things and do things that we don't even want to do. It takes a real human to check himself and say, man, what I'm, what I'm doing, I don't even believe. I don't even believe in. I don't believe what I said. I don't even believe in what I did. Apologize and keep it moving. Y'all want a man to attack a man for your entertainment because we are a culture that feeds off conflict. We just have to have some conflict to feast on. We like. Bro, you niggas sit there and y'all interview drill rappers and make them niggas more famous, bro. What are we talking about? Y'all niggas interview drill rappers that really catch bodies. And you niggas make them more famous. I have to keep reiterating that, bro. You niggas listen to Young Thug. And then y'all say it's just entertainment. Y'all can separate the entertainment when niggas is really killing niggas. Y'all want to use, oh, the lyrics is entertainment. This nigga said he shot up somebody mother crib. The nigga mother crib really got shot up. Y'all niggas went to bat and said, that's entertainment. It's not real, it's entertainment. Cool. When two weirdo niggas is battle rapping, don't none of us think they gonna fight. Now it's not entertainment. Now it's dumb. But you would watch these little kids violate each other and then you'll interview them. This is what I mean by when niggas feel like they are, are like somebody, they be living, the word is vicariously, I call it vicariously, champ. Niggas be living vicariously through other niggas, bro. J. Cole is just like me. Ah, oh, man, he's honorable. Nigga, knock, man, knock it off, man. To see people at war with each other because so many of us are at war with ourselves.
my son at, man. So, remember I told y'all niggas, if I'm going to put my uh, uh, person in the big three, if J. Cole is not in there, it's just Drake and whatever. If you got to replace J. Cole, I told y'all niggas on the last episode, y'all need to go listen to Mick Jenkins, bro. I've been listening to Mick Jenkins since like 2015, bro. Mick Jenkins is from Chicago, but he don't rap like them niggas from Chicago, bro. The nigga really ill. If y'all want to go listen to a song, go on YouTube. And I'm not getting paid from this nigga because I don't know this nigga. I just know this nigga's wild nice. Go listen to a song called P's and Q's by Mick Jenkins. And y'all let me know. Y'all can come back and comment on this shit and let me know if something is deserving to be in the big three. But this is what Mick Jenkins says. And it's crazy because I just bought Sun up. The other day, right? He says, uh, as a rapper's rapper, as a competitor, I'm surprised. I am disgusted. I am disappointed. Okay? As well as I am, as well as a lot of people are, being as though they considered this nigga to be one of the greats, right? And we had the same feel. I had the same feeling around the time when Andre 2000 dropped the flute album. And he said there wasn't going to be no lyrics on there. I'm like... Niggas consider you to be one of the best. Let's proceed. Uh, he also says it's not real beef. We want to see the niggas who claim to be the best ever that nobody can F with to rap like it when they are challenged, especially if they've been talking like it, which he has. And I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to hold you, bro. Mick Jenkins is one of them niggas that I don't think none of them niggas really want to see, bro. Mick Jenkins really is nice, and I do agree with what he is saying. Um, I want to see niggas, if you supposed to be at the top of this shit, I want to see y'all niggas act like y'all at the top of this shit, bro. I don't want to see y'all niggas cower and, you know, in my spirit, you know, I'm not that guy. and blah. Like, bro, that shit is corny, bro, right? And all you sage-smelling ass niggas are the same, all right? Stop being... Weird, all right? Stop being weird, all right? Stop being weird, all right? <laughs> facts. Let's get to some comments, man. The touch tones. Facts, bro. Like, nigga, this nigga was in the touch tones, bro. This nigga was in the touch tones, bro. My nigga Marcel hits me up and says, Mick Jenkins is the truth. He got a whole mixtape dedicated to water. Yes, yes he does. Like I said, man, um, y'all niggas go listen to the nigga Mick Jenkins, bro. Nigga Mick Jenkins is fire, bro, right? The Waters album is hard. Uh, his later works is hard, too. Like I said, man, um, the nigga been rapping fire. Like I said, man, I don't got to be getting paid from niggas to shout niggas out. All right? So listen, man, um, I got a lot of shit in the works coming this week and next week. We're going to have a whole new show for y'all to view on, all right? It's going to be a lot of things happening. I need y'all to hit that like button, subscribe, and I need y'all to watch all my content, bro, because it's going to be things happening very soon. This is not it. This, this, whatever this is, hexagon shit that I just found or whatever, this shit is nothing. We got a whole bunch of real shit that we're about to do soon. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. I'll make sure I'll be live every day. Um, I'm saying make sure y'all join the Discord too as well. Y'all niggas can scroll all the way up and y'all can join the Discord as well. If I'm not here, I'm in the Discord. We're going to be doing the most of Dawn. It's coming back. Tough House Rose, but it's going to be on the Discord. So y'all going to have to sign up to the... Not sign up, but just... Go to the Discord, add us on the Discord. Every Friday, we're doing the roaster thon. We're going to be doing music reviews in there. We're going to be doing all types of shit in there. We're going to have giveaways. We're going to be giving away free shit. We're going to be doing a lot of things in the Discord. So make sure y'all go ahead and add the Discord. Um, and then, y'all. Thank you, everybody, for popping out. I'm about to be out of here. Catch me on the Discord. That's where we'll be at. All right? If anybody still wants to holler at me, I'll be on the Discord. I'm very accessible for everybody. Just hit me on the Discord, all right? 
Salute to y'all. I'll be back tomorrow. Peace, bitches. Shotgun the rocket crew, bet your block a move. The general is Lord Stino. Catch me rolling in the gold regal. Do your dirt, but the Lord see you. You dive head first like a bald eagle. I make your head fly first, man. You don't believe you. Stick 'em, I, I, I stick 'em, stick 'em, I, I, I stick 'em, stick 'em, I, I, I stick 'em. Another day, another motherfucking victory. So if you ride a nigga ride out or die till you die out It's OTN salute to the time out You never know just what you do until you hurtin' in your time out Cop a pie, chop a pie, sell it to the pie out Never cry, they give you something to cry about You shy, you better hide up in your hideout They got them Ray Ray niggas that be shootin' niggas' eye 